Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? What do they wish they could tell Leo at this time? Okay, what messages do you have for Leo? For Leo, spirit, what messages do you have in love? What messages do you have for Leo, spirit, in love? There are the, there are the two cards. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And then we have let go of control issues. Issues allow this situation to unfold naturally. I feel like this has to do with some sort of soulmate. Um, maybe you've been, I don't know, trying to manifest something fiercely is kind of what I'm picturing here. I'm thinking of the strength card. Um, maybe you want this to develop and it just hasn't really taken off yet. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Tell me more about what's going on here for Leo. What's going on in Leo's love life, Sarah? What's going on in Leo's love life, Spirit? What's going on in Leo's love life? messages do you have for Leo? Wow, six of cups. So far, so good. What messages do you have for Leo? Oh my gosh, ten of pentacles. So this is definitely uh, dealing with a soulmate or someone that you've had a past life connection with. Seven, there's that uh, frustration. There's frustration or impatience when it comes to this. Perhaps you're having doubts or you're wondering if something's ever going to pan out for you, if it's ever going to, to manifest here. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Leo. Let me manifest these energies, please. Tell me more for Leo. Why is the sun here? This is good news, happiness. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here with the sun? It's almost like someone doesn't want you to be happy. There might be jealousy here. Why is the sun here? Eight of Wands, communication, movement, action. Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the death, death card. Bottom of the deck, death card. Scorpio energy. I feel like um, there could have been um, some sort of mishap with communication. I'm not, for some reason, I'm not thinking it's a fight. Or an argument, almost like a misunderstanding. I feel like you are, you want to be happy. You're, you're working on being happy. And perhaps this person that is coming in or that you're dealing with right now makes you very happy. It's exactly what you were expecting, but it's not really going smoothly for some reason. Perhaps this person is not giving you the same amount of attention or you have doubts about how they feel about you like mutual feelings here with the six of pentacles 
I'm not sure what's going on with this death card here at the bottom of the deck with the six of pentacles. This is change, ending, transformation. It's like someone wants to go undergo some sort of change or transformation or have this connection go through some sort of change in order to balance out. Perhaps it's not really equal or fair right now uh, because something has to end. We'll see. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Queen of Swords. Why is the Six of Cups here? Wow, judgment. This is definitely having something to do with the past. Um, communicating about the past, having some sort of wake up call about the past. This is definitely communication. The Ace of Swords. It's like a very important talk is gonna take place here or there is new clarity regarding the past. And this is like, if this is a conversation, Leo, it's a very open and honest, clear communication, very serious communication. Not a lot of emotion involved here. Bottom of the deck, I have the four of wands, stability, harmony, marriage, celebration. So I feel like this is, a, is this, it's almost like a conversation about where this is headed or you know, we've done all of this or we have this type of past, now what? What do we do about it? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Three of Swords, pain, disappointment, conflict, heartbreak. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords at the bottom. Interesting. Let me get one more. Let me get one more about the Ten of Pentacles, please. This is financial stability, security, family, traditions, the pinnacle of success. It could also be a long-term commitment. Four of Cups reverse and the Six of Wands at the bottom. There's a burden, a weight on this connection or someone's carrying some sort of burden, maybe an obligation, but somehow I feel like this is someone that's carrying around a heavy burden that's emotional regarding a long-term commitment or something to do with security, stability. Now with the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands, there might have been, again, I feel like there was something that happened in this connection where there was some sort of like confrontation or misunderstanding. Leave me a comment down below, Leo, by the way, if this is resonating for you. Um, also, if you'd like to let me know how it's resonating, um, I'd love to hear from you. I feel like this is going to be different for everyone in the sense that this could be literal like heartbreak or it could be that there's some sort of communication that went badly. I think it caused someone to have a change of heart here or have renewed interest in something, but I feel like it was more like whatever happened, they've changed their mind about something. Can I get one more for this 10 of... Okay, and then we got the death card again. So there's, there could have been some sort of ending here with a, a long-term commitment. Or again, I feel like something has to end. And this could be um, some sort of interference. I have the Three of Pentacles reverse. There could be something in the way here. It could be distance. It could be finances. It could be a family situation, jealousy, um, another person. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? This is what's going on right now in your connection. Why is the seven of pentacles reverse? I feel like there's a, a very serious conversation that needs to be had here. Yeah, this is this is ma manifesting the magician. 
and then having to let go of control issues. So you're trying to manifest something while also trying to control it at the same time. Or perhaps there's frustration here or impatience. Because something that you've been wanting to manifest here with the magician just hasn't worked out the way that you expected or is not happening. And this could be for your person as well. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse, please. Four of Wands. You're probably manifesting stability, harmony, peace with this person. Maybe you want to move in together or have a happy home, a family with this person. Two of Wands reverse. Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, something happened here. Tell me more about this Two of Wands reverse. Hermit, Virgo energy. Someone has withdrawn to think about their next steps here. And I feel like once they figured that out, Virgo energy, um, they're going to communicate. I feel like there's some sort of communication happening here. I have the Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, and now the Knight of Swords. So there's some important conversation that needs to take place here. And it's going to happen quick with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. This is going to happen very quickly. And I also feel like there's an urgency here. Like maybe you or someone else needs to hurry. So let's see. How do they think or feel about you, Leo, at this time? What's this person thinking or feeling about Leo or this connection? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is available now in my shop. It's linked down below in the description box. How are they thinking or feeling about Leo? How are they thinking or feeling about Leo, sir? I'm ready to commit. How are they thinking about Leo at this time? I want to see you. Bottom of the deck. I want a second chance. This is that judgment card. The judgment card with the past. Something happened with the past. Maybe this person wasn't able to commit to you or give you much before. And now it's like they want to see you to talk about possibly moving things forward. Having a second try at this. Let's see. Let's see if we can get more information about how they're thinking or feeling about you. Actually, let's do this one first. Tell me more about how Leo, or how this person is thinking or feeling about Leo. How do they think or feel when it comes to Leo? Spirit, tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo. Tell me more. Two of Swords, so they really have no clue. Higher font, reverse, Taurus energy, um, a broken commitment here. Some sort of broken contract or someone needing to rebel against what's expected of them. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo? Three of Wands, reverse. Again, with like that impatience, frustration, running out of time, missing an opportunity. This could be on your person's side, Leo, that they're trying to rush in or... Uh, make something happen quickly. Actually, let me use a whole different deck for this. Let me clarify these energies, please. I just saw the top, the higher font reverse again. Yeah. I feel like someone could have walked away from a commitment here in the past or needs to walk away from a commitment now. If this is a third party situation, that would make sense. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Leo. Why is the Two of Swords here? This is all about a difficult um, decision to the point where someone is unsure or undecided. Tell me about the Two of Swords. I feel like when it comes to you, they, they don't really know exactly what to do. Or they have a difficult choice to make. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Two of Swords here? 
Seven of Pentacles. And the other person's waiting. I feel like this might be you, Leo. Waiting for um, a decision to be made. Yeah, this could have something to do with family or someone's really worried that they're not going to get their happy ending with the Ten of Cups. Like, is this happy ending going to happen for me? Um, are we going to have um, stability, happy home? Was it all a lie or an illusion? I feel like whatever decision this is, it has to do with someone's emotional happiness or fulfillment. Um, now, with this Queen of Pentacles reverse, though, like this could be someone that's already in a long-term commitment. So this is starting to look like a third-party situation, or this could be someone that's interfering in some sort of way. It does not have to be another romantic partner. It could be a parent, a friend, a co-worker, a boss. I feel like deception or, or bad communication is... Communication is an issue here. That's why it's so important. I feel like that's why someone wants so desperately to have it. Why is the Hierophant reverse? Six of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Hierophant reverse? The Sun. I feel like this sun is not happiness. It's more like you're seeing something very clearly or someone's actions are exposed. Like I'm picturing someone like exposed like with a spotlight. It's like someone's realizing that this situation isn't fair or balanced. There could be someone that's, you know, like resisting this or blocking this in some way or perhaps there's a lot of, there's someone needs to fight for this most likely. If you want happiness, if you want your happy ending, I, I feel like it's going to require some sort of fight. And someone needs to break free of something here with the Eight of Swords reverse at the bottom. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? The Magician, again, a whole different deck. Someone's manifesting something and it's tied to impatience or frustration once again. Someone's trying to manifest something. This could be you. This could be your person, Leo. But whatever they're manifesting, there's like an urgency. There's regret, remorse with the Five of Cups. This has to do with the past. Whatever's being manifested. Someone's looking at the past. Fool energy and then the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is quick. This is quick, quick, quick. Quick and um, be careful because this could be someone that's not really thinking or looking before they, they step, you know, they're just so impulsive or wanting to rush in. Once again, I can just get this urgency here. Someone wants to move in quickly or at least manifest something and change it quickly. And I feel like this is because something needs to change in order for there to be a new beginning. So what are their true intentions? What are their true intentions when it comes to Leo? What are their true intentions when it comes to Leo? What are their true intentions when it comes to Leo? Nightingale. This is about speaking up. Communication. Another card about communication. So expect communication from this person or there is a serious talk that needs to happen between you. What are their true intentions towards Leo? Spirit. Octopus. This is entanglements. Unhealthy attachments. Gossip. Someone that's literally all over the place, which causes conflict. So I feel like there's there could be um, communication that causes conflict or communication is a problem because there's always, um, and it, uh, by the way, I have this sneak at the bottom of the deck, which is a part about kind of like time running out before potential is um, reached. So let's see, what is the potential outcome for you and this person? I'm going to use a whole different deck. I'm going to pick a couple of cards for this uh, particular reading. Potential outcome, please, Spirit. What is the potential outcome in the near future for Leo and this other person? What is the potential outcome? The Tower reverse, Three of Swords reverse. So 
some sort of interference here. I feel like this tower is a tower that someone already caused or, or it already happened, it, but it's still ongoing. The, re the consequences of it are still ongoing. You're still dealing with it. What a potential outcome here. What's the potential outcome? What's next for this connection? Three of Pentacles reversed. Another card about interferences. And then I have Justice at the bottom of the deck. So this is all about bringing something into balance, making a final decision. Something very official could be legal. It could be that someone's waiting for a legal um, a legal outcome or a final decision to be made. But there's definitely some sort of interference here. And this could be the same interference or different ones. You know, there could be more than one thing that's in the way of this connection. And I feel like, I don't know, it's almost like um, someone's focused on making this right. You know, wanting a second chance, wanting things to balance out, but at the same time, there could be some some something holding back this this reunion, I guess I should say. 